So this question says two guy wires for, uh, from the top of a pole are 10 meters and 7 meters long, respectively, and they form an angle of 13.6 degrees. So that's this angle right in there. Uh, the wires are on the same side of the pole. Now we want to find how far apart they are anchored on the ground. So that's this distance right here. Okay. Now the triangle that they're in, notice I don't really even need this triangle right here for now. The triangle that uh, all that information is in is not a right angle triangle. I don't have an angle side pair that I can use, so I can't use the sine law. So this is definitely a cosine law problem. So my x here is going to end up being 10 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 10 times 7 times the cosine of the angle in between them. And then we take the square root of the whole thing. And this is going to be how far apart they're anchored there. So just encourage you once again, try to do all of this in one step on your calculator. So enter in the square root of, and then a 10 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 10 times 7 multiplied by the cosine of that angle in between. Do it all in one step, and I will get, um, and I'm going to leave this uh, to the nearest tenth here. I'm going to write it to the nearest tenth, but I'm going to leave the number in my calculator. So 3.6 meters. So that's how far apart they are. Now the question is, part B is, how tall is the pole? So now i got to actually look at this triangle right here. Or one of the two triangles. Actually, the triangle I'm going to look at here, oh, I don't know why that's all weaving all over here, but it's going to be that side, that side, and that side. Now, I know that the hypotenuse there is 10. What I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out what this angle is right here. I'll call that theta. And I'm going to figure that out just using the triangle that I was just looking at. And I'm going to use the sine law to figure out what that angle is because now I know that 3.6, which is side x, over the sine of 13.6, should equal 7 over the sine of that angle theta. Now, when I do this, I'm going to cross multiply. So 3.6 sine of theta will equal 7 times the sine of 13.6. So the sine of theta is going to equal 7 sine of 13.6 degrees over 3.6. So I will get that the sine of theta is equal to, now when I, when I do this calculation, I am going to use that whole side length that I just figured out. So I'm going to do 7 multiplied by the sine of 13.6, that's the, the numerator there, divided by, well, I'm not going to use just 3.6, I'm going to use the 3.595199 that, that I found before, which is going to get me this big decimal value, 0 0.4578, da, da, da. And so I'm going to take the inverse sine of that answer, and that's going to get me the angle there. So 27.2. Okay, great. Now what I've got is a triangle, a right triangle, importantly, with a hypotenuse of 10 and this angle of 27.2 degrees. So how do I get the height of the pole H here? Well, that is the sine ratio. The sine of 27.2 degrees is going to equal h over 10. And I can multiply that up. So 10 times the sine of 27.2 is going to equal h. So on my calculator, I'll go 10 times the sine of. Now again, I'm not just going to type in 27.2. I'm going to use the whole decimal that the calculator just figured out. Oops. Press Enter. And I get that the pole, and this time I'll round it to the nearest uh, tenth here. Oops, not centimeters. Wow, that's not what I mean. I think it's meters, yeah. And so that is the answer that I'm looking for.